Hi everybody, welcome to another how-to video with uh, Salome Mecca and Kodaster and uh, today I want to talk uh, a little bit about staged analysis and uh, I'm going to use uh, ASTK and build on uh, my previous uh, video tutorial and we're going to see how we can uh, do staged analysis with ASTK of course uh, the same procedure can be followed if you want to use a terminal and uh, also, in a state study, a state study already supports uh, stage analysis and is something that uh, you can already do and you can uh, apply what we're going to say today. Although in a state study, everything is kind of more automatized. So that's why I wanted to do it uh, with uh, the SDK. I think that uh, this is an important aspect to be able to do an analysis and then uh, be able to load this analysis and do further uh, further analysis. Uh, above all, if you have a big model, uh, maybe you need a lot of time and resources to run, let's say, some analysis, but then you want to do some post-processing. So it is always useful to know how to how to do it. And I'm going to use uh, the example with uh, the 3D beam as uh, the previous time. So if you remember, we have a, a very simple example. We, we do a static analysis and then we have some post-processing uh, operations. And the idea is to do at the first stage uh, that finishes here in the static analysis and uh, the second stage, uh, like a post-processing stage where we recreate the results. Okay, let's uh, go and see. So we're going to use the uh, ASTK and uh, I'm going to create now some new commands file that is built on the existing. Okay, I'm going to say, so I'm going to say run case one will be the first command file and uh, run case two will be the second mm -hmm. command file. So the second stage. So in the first stage, we will just go and uh, delete everything after the static analysis. So this, we don't need them. We're doing the static analysis and then we stop the analysis there. In the second uh, file, we don't need uh, everything up to the static analysis. So this will be already there because we're going to load the file. And then we will do just the post-processing. Here we have to use a different keyword that uh, will say to Codaster that there is already analysis that we are loading. And this keyword is Pursue. And you can go to the French dictionary and see what Pursue means. And uh, this is the second. Okay, let's, so let's go and uh, do the analysis. So for the first stage, we have the command file we have the med file, we have a mesh file, a message where uh, usually we always want to have one so that we can see what Codaster did, if there are any problems. And we don't have any results, so this we're going to delete it. And uh, we're going to need also another entry, that is a base entry. So the base entry is where uh, the results of this stage will be saved. I'm just going to say result underscore one dot base. And here we have to say that it is not data, it is result, and uh, it should be compressed. Nowadays, maybe we don't need to click this anymore, it is not mandatory, but uh, I'm just going to click it and uh, we run the analysis. And we should see that uh, it should create a folder here with uh, the name that uh, we specified so result one base yes and these are the the compressed files that uh, contain all the the results of this analysis okay and now we can go to our second stage analysis and see how we can do that and i'm just gonna save us let's say Mm, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna use it. Mm, I don't save it. 
it save us different name okay so let's say the terminal okay i'm going to call it run2 okay so what we have here we have the second command file now the base is a, 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 a data is not anymore a result file it's a data file so we have to put it like this and of course the same name the med file we don't use we don't need it anymore we don't need the, the message it is already there so we can uh, delete it i'm going to call this result two and then i'm just going to add the the results maybe it's easier to do like this so we have a result i call it underscore to med number 80 we have uh, two txt files one line cut so this is a result file resume and uh, i gonna call it underscore two so that we don't uh, override the files and uh, this should be unit two and then we have the reactions that is another result file underscore two with unit four and uh, this should be more or less what we need uh, to redo the analysis so we are uh, specifying the base the command file and uh, then the output and let's see if everything works okay it, it uh, loaded the the uh, results okay so you can see here that uh, we have our results so we have a uh, reaction of our line cap so this is the procedure uh, we have to use base the first time to save our results and then uh, we can uh, we can uh, load the base and actually we can also do another uh, think uh, we can also live like this so if uh, we live like this it is going to load the, the base do the analysis and then save everything so we are enriching the base if we want i didn't do this in this example but uh, i'm just uh, letting you know that this is also possible so with this uh, now you know that uh, you can use Pursui if you use uh, stk of the terminal otherwise with a test study everything is more uh, let's say automatic automatically done for you and uh, you can use stage analysis uh, if you want uh, let's say to take advantage what this let's say can give you I hope uh, this was useful for you to watch and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.